Hi, I'm Dan from Wonder Share Unique Home Learner. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn a video, a short little clip, into a GIF in just a few seconds. Are you ready? Let's get started. So the very first question you might have is, um, Dom, why do we need a GIF? Well, let me tell you. Well, first of all, because one of the best memes are from GIFs. Second of all, you can send them as reactions on, on Messenger or, or on WhatsApp or on any messaging apps. And there is also a practical side of it, is because if you store funny moments, funny clips in the format of a GIF, it will use up less storage space. So you can save up storage with, with using GIFs. But that was enough talking, I think we all know how cool GIFs are, so let me show you how to make one. So once you have the Unique Converter opened up, go on the left side panel, click on the toolbox, and within the toolbox, select the GIF Maker. Now up here, you can select to create a GIF out of a video or multiple photos. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a GIF out of a video. So, you can import your video by clicking right over here, or drag and drop it from your media browser. Now down here on the timeline, once you opened up the video, you can select which part of the video you'd want to use as a GIF. You can select it manually by dragging on the sides of this little area here, or you can set the start time and end time manually. You can use it the original size or resize the video. If you resize it, it will take up less storage space. You can select the frame rate, and here you can also select how long you want your video to be. If you want to add the text, you can type it in here and add text. And if you click on the little T button, you can also customize your text. You can select font, font size, color, and a few other things. Here you can see how big your GIF is going to be in terms of size. And after you selected an output folder, which in this case will be same as source folder, you can just click on create GIF. And once it's done, you have your GIF in your selected folder. And from now on, you can use it for anything. And it's literally that easy. Super simple, right? If you found this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, do so. And also turn on the notifications so you never miss a new upload on this channel. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video.